Hi everybody, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're going to be starting a new series called Simplifying Skincare. Basically in this series, we're going to go over each skincare step and just simplify it for you guys. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the first cleanse, so oil cleansers such as cleansing oils, cleansing balms, or even micellar waters. This video will show you how to properly take off your makeup, take off sunscreen, or just make sure you're getting rid of all that dirt and oil from the day. So this process was actually popularized in Korea, which we all know is like the CEO of skincare nowadays. Korea is amazing amazing and it definitely has changed the industry for the better and this process is basically where you start with an oil cleanser and then follow it up with your water-based cleanser. So before we get into the right way, let's go over the wrong way to do so. So the most popular way to remove your makeup that's just what was that sound? That's just bad overall is makeup wipes. First of all, they're bad for the environment because you're producing daily waste and most people use like three to five makeup wipes and that's just a lot of waste to create every single night and sometimes even the mornings. And even if they're biodegradable, it takes a while for that wipe to biodegrade. So you're still putting out waste. And aside from the environmental impact, makeup wipes are bad for your skin because they're not actually the best to take off your makeup. They're just kind of rubbing it around. And a lot of them have fragrant ingredients and and essential oils and a lot of astringents that strip your skin and overall they're just really bad for your skin and can sensitize it and it's not actually taking off your makeup so there's no reason and makeup wipes the worst way you can use it is using it alone if you're using it as a makeup remover and then using a cleanser afterwards it's not terrible but it's still like way worse than the correct way to do it but if you're solely using makeup wipes as your cleanser that's terrible and even if you're not breaking out you're still causing damage that will hit you like a truck in the future so make sure you stop doing that and then the other mistakes is using these oil and micellar waters alone, kind of like makeup wipes, the worst way to use it is to use it alone. So the science behind this is makeup and sunscreens are usually oil-based and even if it says oil-free, it's still an extra thing on your skin that you wanna make sure you're getting off. So the way this works is micellar waters and oil cleansers have oil molecules, obviously, and those oil molecules attract more oil molecules and then you follow it with your water cleanser to make sure that cleansing oil is fully off your skin because if you just use a cleansing oil or balm, it will break you out and doing that double cleanse is just making sure you have the best cleanse skin and cleansing is one of the most important steps ever so now here's the proper way to double cleanse first start with the cleansing oil or balm my favorite cleansing oils are the Claire's gentle black deep cleansing oil I really really enjoy this especially if I'm like pampering myself having one of these is amazing because it just feels so luxurious but it is like a thicker oil so if you do not like that don't get this one this one is very bougie but it's an amazing one it's the Tatcha pure one-step chameleon cleansing oil it has camellia water which is green tea and that's one of Tatcha's main ingredients and we all know Tatcha is super bougie and I don't love all their products but this is one that I've definitely enjoyed but as I said it is more bougie but it also has rice extract in it so it's just really really good for the skin and this one doesn't leave a film at all on the skin and it's one of my favorites but again it's a little expensive but if you want to splurge and you have aging skin or if you just want to splurge get this one it's truly one of my favorites and then the other option from cleansing oils is cleansing balms my favorite ones are the then I met you living cleansing balm this one just feels really luxurious on the skin and it just smells amazing because of the extracts in it it's not fragrant it's just it smells good because of the ingredients in here and it has a bunch of hydrating ingredients and this doesn't leave a film at all the thing you would do want to look out for in cleansing balms is an ingredient called polyethylene polyethylene is literally plastic first of all that can clog your pores it's really really bad for the environment that's like the worst thing because if you think about it you're washing off that plastic from your skin and it's going to your faucet or your sink or your drain whatever it's called and it's going into the oceans so make sure you are buying cleansing balms that are free of polyethylene to save the world because we only have one you know and then there's also micellar waters here I have two of my favorite ones they're both from Bioderma I like the Bioderma Sensi Bio H2O this is my favorite one Bioderma is the first company that did micellar waters and this one is fragrance free and it's really really good for sensitive skin and then they also have this one which is the Hydra Bio and this one does have some fragrance so I don't love this one as much but if you're not sensitized by fragrance and want to try either or they'll both do the same but if you have really sensitive skin I do recommend the pink cap over it the way my cellar waters works is they have my cells in it and these are basically like little little molecules that are oil just like the oil cleansers that oil is grabbing the oil so now that we've talked about my favorite products let's get into the correct way to take off your makeup sunscreen extra dirt and oils and this is just the best way to guarantee that your skin will not break out after using makeup I actually do technically a triple cleanse I first go in with my bioderma sensi bio and 
and I use these on cotton pads. I actually am waiting to run out of these cotton pads and then I'm gonna buy reusable ones. So if anybody out there has some good cotton pads that they enjoy, make sure you do link those down below. And as you can see, I just pumped that on there and I'm just holding it on my eye. This basically is gonna dissolve any eye makeup. I'm actually not wearing much eye makeup. I'm just wearing some mascara on the bottom lashes. And this micellar water is so gentle and as you can see, it literally got rid of it so fast. Also, if you see my face get this red, I promise it doesn't look that red in person. It looks crazy on camera. And don't be afraid to go in with more micellar water. Again, this is not gonna be bad for your skin. If you need a little more, you feel like you still have some eye makeup on, make sure you do get that off because having mascara on and sleeping with it overnight can actually make your lashes fall out. So here's it up close. As you can see, literally everything is all gone. My lashes are clean, my eyes are clean, and it's not irritated. I have really sensitive eyes, so if I use the wrong product on them, literally my eyes will get so red and they'll burn. And the reason I actually use a micellar water is because the cleansing oils can get in your eye and leave a film. It doesn't like hurt your eye, it doesn't burn with these cleansing oils, but I just don't enjoy that feeling. I'm gonna be going in with my Then I Met You Living Cleansing Balm, and this is the amount I use if I'm wearing as much makeup as today, which I usually don't do, but if you're just wearing sunscreen or really light makeup, feel free to use less, and you put this on your face while your face is dry, and then you just massage it around, and I like to do this for around a minute, and trust me you guys, if you use makeup wipes or or even a micellar water all over your skin, start using a cleansing oil and it literally feels so good. This is where most people go wrong. Wet your hands and after you've massaged that for like around like 45 seconds to a minute, you go in with that water and do what's called emulsifying. This basically like activates the product and it's a crucial step in oil cleansing to make sure you are getting everything off and that the cleansing oil comes off your skin. Do you see how it's like a milky texture now? And it doesn't feel greasy at all. Of course, at first it really feels like oil, but once you emulsify it, it just starts feeling like a hydrating cleanser. And it's so good for your skin. So now I'm just gonna go wash this off and I'll be right back. I am currently editing this video, but I just wanted to hop on here real quick to remind you guys that after your oil cleanse, you have to follow it up with your water-based cleanser. This is just your gentle or foaming cleanser, whatever works for your skin, but this will just guarantee that you do not break out from this process and it's the best way to cleanse your skin. And I did mention it earlier in the video, but I just wanted to remind you guys in case you forgot. Now I'm back and as you can see, my skin is so glowy, it's so hydrated, it feels amazing. And yes, there's acne, but that does not mean your skin is unhealthy, especially if you're a teen, it's really, really normal. And trust me, I've struggled with being self-conscious about it so much. So if you are, my DMs are always open for you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you are subscribed and have my notification bell turned on so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. Also give this video a like and share with your friends because there's a lot of information in this video and they'll get some of the skincare knowledge and be just as smart as you guys. And follow me on all my social media. It's at I'm Lucas Pedroso on literally everything. And as I mentioned in every video, I am trying to post more on TikTok. And now that it's like almost banned, I really want to get a lot of content out there for you guys. A huge thank you to everybody out there that supports me. It means the absolute world to me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!